Audio Jungle. Edwin Link, National Vice President for Educational Foundations at Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Some of my best memories, uh, both in school and out of school, were the times when I was doing. And I found meaning in work and striving to do more work and striving to fail and getting right back up and saying, it's time to do it again. There was someone who said, you can, you should, and it's okay, it's okay to make uh, mistakes and to fail. But at the end of the day, it's like if you don't have those people, those adults that are, are stepping in from outside of your own fam family nucleus, if you will, you're not gonna be as prepared, you're not gonna have as many opportunities as you should. They were that kid. They were that youth in that club space. They were that youth that was standing on a ball field, that was standing on a stage, that was standing in a dance studio, just waiting to make a positive connection with the caring adult. They felt that spark, they felt the compassion, they felt the purpose and meaning that came from that experience. And they know how important that is and they now want to provide that to a youth um, close to them. I'm Jennifer Sarangelo, the President and CEO of the National 4-H Council. Out of school time programs are an essential part of the education process. All the science knowledge we need to have as a, as a society can't be done just through classrooms and tests and books. All the research shows that hands-on learning through activities, that's how science really sticks. In chemistry, I loved doing titrations, so I thought it was like magic. Out of school time programs like 4-H, Boys and Girls Club, YMCA, that bring science in a hands-on way and make it very interesting for young people and also bring caring adult mentors are essential to helping young people find not just an interest in science, but going farther to be able to, to get to a college degree and, and potentially to a career. My name is Pam Garza. I work at YMCA of the USA, and currently I'm the STEM project director. One of the most positive learning experiences for me in my childhood was the teachers decided that a hands-on experiential learning approach was the best way for young people to learn. That learning could ha happen by youth doing. Once young people have that opportunity to be in the lead, to learn what they want to learn in a way that they want to learn it, that's what brings in the interest and engagement and brings our young people back to being interested in STEM in the first place. So what we can do in out of school time is give young people those skills to solve whatever problem it is they come up against. My name is Gina Warner. I'm the president and CEO of the National After School Association. Not all children learn the same, and so we shouldn't structure all of our instruction the same, and that's the beautiful thing about after school. We have that flexibility to teach kids in different ways. So when I think about um, an adult who really had an impact on me, she went out of her way um, it took her time to think about something that I needed or something that might help me it was really impactful to me and really spoke to a, an investment that I think like went far beyond you know probably what she was expected or required to do as part of a, a paying job or a, or a volunteer job and I'm really happy to say that I'm still in touch with her today and you know and I never missed an opportunity um, to thank her privately and publicly. 